think it's really important to have children, uh, the opportunity to, to work and uh, complete activities within that realm of sort of the STEM. In a, in a previous school, uh, I took part in a transition programme, which was all around uh, STEM and using different technology and science and engineering and maths. So obviously, uh, when the opportunity arose for the children here at Chorley to do it, especially with BAE so local, it, it really made sense. The CPD was really useful. Um, I was fortunate enough to be sat with someone who knew how 3D printing worked. So I had uh, sort of a double double help because it was new to me, completely new to me. Um, but obviously, everything was was taught through at a level that was appropriate that we could then translate to children. Before this project, I've never heard of 3D printing. I've been designing tang grounds and key rings. It's been nice that I've been able to help other people. It was, it was kind of a bit of a closed activity in the sense of it, it, was, it built interest. Lots of children came in and were interested by it. Um, but, but we used it actually as a behaviour management tool. So there's a little lad who struggled a little bit with his behaviour who used it as his outlet, his reward, uh, and then my class used it. Um, this year, we've moved the 3D printer, like I said, into the computer room, uh, so all the children have access to using it. So in terms of having a challenge to fit in, it's been very limited. The only challenge, really, is, is, is the other adults understanding how to use it. And, and funnily enough, the thing I'm finding is that children are like sponges. They, are, they can pick it up really easily, use it, um, create things, go away, watch videos. They're really like, confident with technology. I want to be a nurse. Um, maybe like, you can print off like, tools that you might have to use. The, big, the biggest wow moment for me since getting it was Ethan. Uh, I remember going away on a different training course and I walked in and the 3D printer was being used. Uh, in my classroom it was on and Ethan was sat at it and I panicked because I thought who's let him turn it on, who's let him use it, how does he know? And it turns out he'd gone away, he'd learnt it, he'd, he'd practised how to use it, he'd set himself up a Tinkercad account. Uh, he, he'd learnt how to use it overnight and was using the 3D printer and not just using it but using it in a much more confident, better way than even like I had been taught to, to use it. You can't go wrong with a 3D printer. So if you make a mistake, it doesn't matter. And I think like that culture of let's celebrate mistakes, let's learn from them, let's not worry about them. It gives us opportunity to do more and different things than what we usually do in HTC. We've been going on Tinkercad and we get to design stuff that we enjoy and not just being on certain things that we have to work around. It can be our own imagination and what we're interested in. I quite like the idea of um, key rings. So like, put your name in it and then you can print it off and keep it. I want to actually play cricket for England women's. For um, season cricket, like my dad plays like Division 3, they have um, a scoring board you have to put actual numbers on that are made of wood. Um, so if they can make it not wood because you get quite a lot of splinters in your hands, that would be really good. So the next thing for me is for every other child in school. Uh, so certainly we have obviously a year five, a year four and a year three class, that's key stage two. I want them all to have designed something and, and, and got an output and out something from the 3D printer. Um, so that will be my, my next step is the key stage, the rest of key stage two. It's about 90 more children. Thank you, B. AE Systems. Thank you very much, BAE Systems, for the 3D printers. Thank you very much, BAE Systems. Thank you, BAE Systems. Thank you, BAE Systems.